do that. I'm Michael Scott, uh, manager over here at Dunler Mifflin Paper Products. Um, we are a very productive company. We get a lot done, but that doesn't mean uh, we can't be pretty funny. I mean, uh, some days it's like, uh, whose line is it anyway around here? So yeah, we just play off each other and uh, yeah. So without further ado, da -da 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 here it is. This is my kingdom. This is Pam. Pam Lam Ding Dong. Pam Dan. And Pam. Come on. This, you, you will not believe how funny this girl is, okay? Yesterday, she had me in tears, okay? You will not believe the crazy stuff she says. Go ahead. Say something crazy, Pam. What? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Kill me, Pam. Oh. She, you're crazier than Kool-Aid. Honestly, Pam. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell all your jokes. Tell them all the jokes. Um, well, there's this good one that I heard today. It's not really good, but... Come on, hit me with it. Hit me with it. Come on, shake it up, Pam. Shake it up. Okay, so this Jewish guy walks in the Kmart. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Um, that is, that is a racist comment, and we, we do not condone um, that kind of talk around here. We are not a racist company, by any means. Yeah, Kevin told me. Well, Kevin is Jewish, and it's okay when he says it, but um, it's quite different, actually, when uh, someone else says it that's not Jewish. So, uh, I don't mind. Um, aren't you, aren't you supposed to be working um, on stuff? Yeah. Aren't you, uh, get on that? <clears throat> you know what, Pam? Not, not today. Okay, it's, it's just it's Friday, and you know, last day of the week, and just, just not today. Just no calls. I'll be in my office. My name is Pam. I've been working here at Mifflin for about two years now, and I've been engaged for about four years. I like painting and drawing, and Jim has seen a couple of my pictures. He thinks they're pretty good, but you know. Hey Jim, I just installed my ultimate titanium locking program. Wow Dwight, that's, that's great, but uh, guess what, I don't, I don't care. Well when someone steals your identity, then you'll care. Like myself, whose ID identity is completely protected by my own secret password. Who would want to be you Dwight? Is your password Frodo? No. Change your password to Calvin. No. What? My name is Jim, and to be completely honest, uh, I'm only working here to pay for college, and I don't need to go any higher in this career. And if I did, I'd probably have to throw myself in front of a moving train. And the only real satisfaction I get here is playing pranks on Dwight. My name is Dwight Schrude. I'm assistant regional manager here at Dunler Mifflin Products. I'm also office sanitizer president, a local sheriff deputy, and the leader of my laser tag team. We meet every Friday night and we're called Pink Ninjas. Why? Because pink is a, is a color of power. 
and I'm personally trained in the field of ninja. -ing. Around here, people treat me like the pink ninja leader of the office. What the? What? What is that? Uh, did someone defecate into a bowl? Is that pudding? Pudding. Okay. Who did this? Jim. Who did this? I have I have no idea what you're talking about. Chocolate pudding. You know I love chocolate pudding. Why would you do this? It, it's sick. It really is. Look at these pants now. They're done. I think people have powers. Um, especially the people here. Um, they have almost superhuman powers. And, um, you know, it lives inside all of them in their hearts, and I'm kind of like the head honcho, you know, so I'm kind of like the head of the Justice League. Who, who was that again? Darth Vader? Darth Vader. I am Darth Vader. Uh, our new girl, and oh, whoa, what is that? Exactly. <laughs> it's pudding, okay? Jeez. Okay, don't talk to that guy. Alright, anyway, uh, she is a firecracker. I mean, really, aren't you? Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. Alright, hey, hey, you like, uh, you like practical jokes? Yeah. You like pranks? Watch this, watch this. This is gonna be good. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I got you! I got you! Got you! <laughs> right, right, right. Give me skin! Give me skin! Oh, what the heck's your problem, man? I'm just trying to install this new door. Okay, jeez. Get easy there. Loser. Okay, so uh, what's everybody doing tonight? And then parties, huh? Anybody? Angela, what are you doing tonight? I'm going to a poverty donation drive tonight. Okay, liar. I collect ceramic cats and dolphins. My favorite colors are gray, dark gray, charcoal, and ash. I don't get involved in office drama because they'll just stab you in the back the first chance they get. Come on. What are you doing tonight, Kevin? What are you doing, my brother? Huh? Wanna go hit up Denny's? Get a couple of ladies? I'm going to visit my grandmother at the hospital. Okay, loser. Alright. I'm really not going to visit my grandmother tonight. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a band. It's a Steve Miller cover band. And uh, I'm the lead singer. And uh, we're going to be playing at this uh, place called Inferno tonight. Anyone here that's not doing something lame tonight? Well, Michael, if you want, you could come along with me and have my laser tag team. We're we're fighting a Boy Scout troop tonight. Uh, nerd. All right, seriously, why would I do that? It's it's just sad. Okay. No. Oh well. Anyway, I guess it's just you and me, new girl. Um. Yeah. Well, I uh, kind of promised my friends we would. Well, I was told that I would have an internship in business, and they put me in here, so... That's cool. Alright, um, I will be courteous to you and squire you to your vehicle, if you will. So, uh, I will say adios to you all, and... And, uh, round the door. Who's funny now? Sign Mr. Doorman. God, this is not good. Okay, this is not good at all. Ugh, this is what happens when someone cannot take a joke. 
this, this doorman was obviously beaten as a child or grew up in Buffalo or something. Oh, what are we, what are we going to do? Oh, boy. Why don't we just use the phone to call for help? Uh, Kevin, not now, okay? Seriously. Seriously. We have a, uh, we have a problem on our hands, and I need to get a hold of the situation and figure out what's going on. Jim, what do we do? Um, well, we could try the phones. Phones. Yes! Yes! Good plan! So I'll call you the plan, man. You've never called me the plan. Okay, that's, that's not important. All right, just, just get on the phones, okay? Get on the phones, figure out what's going on. Um, I already tried the phones. They're all down, so I checked out on the phone lines, and it looks like someone's trying to get them down. What? <laughs> I follow my own rule book when it comes to the office place. Rule number one, every man for himself. Rule number two, Know your enemies, even if that means bugging, tapping, ninja stealthing, or secret agent sleuthing, I'm all for it. Because I will find out who put pudding on my chair. Oh yes, punishment will be dealt out without mercy. So, we're stuck here? Uh... For how long? Yes. Um, till the janitor arrives, tomorrow. Oh. The lock-in was bad news, at first. Uh, but then I got the old gears uh, shifted, you know, in the noggin. And uh, I said to myself, Michael, uh, this may be exactly what we need to boost morale around here, you know, uh, throwing a little bit of team unity. And uh, I agree with them, with myself, I mean, with myself. Office meeting, office meeting, please meet in the middle of the room, office meeting, everybody. Okay, I called you all in here because we are not going to let a little lock in. Uh, ruin our plans tonight. So I thought you said uh, you didn't have any plans. That's why you asked us what we are going to do tonight. Yeah, I do have plans. I did have plans actually for your information, and um, I'm that's that's actually none of your business. So um, anyway, uh, we are gonna turn this place into a party zone. Okay, come on, who's with me? Anyone? Okay. Angela, Ham, New Girl. You're on food and decorations. Guys, gonna make some games. Alright, we'll meet back here in a little bit. Being a jerk. As soon as I saw Dwight's eyes light up, uh, when Michael said games, I knew exactly how I could get him back from being really annoying all day. Plus, it's just plain entertaining. I just found out some information that might pertain to you. What kind of information? You don't think I just tell you, do I? Do you? What's your price? Your lightsaber. Which color? The green one. No. No. That's my favorite color. No. Okay, if you don't want to know. Oh, oh, tell me what kind of information first. The kind of information that could win you immunity. So what'd you say to him? That this. I told him that management set up the lock-in to find out the, who the weakest employees are. And if he wins, and if he finds a secret to, uh, to the lock-in, then he can get immunity. Oh my god, and he actually believed you? Yeah, every single word, and plus, I got this lightsaber. Nice. Now I just need to get some buns and I'll be Princess Leia. <laughs> and you could be Luke. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, what are you guys talking about? Nothing, Kevin. Nothing.
don't know what's going on, but something's up. Okay, so uh, what did we get on decorations, ladies? Food and decorations. I found a half full bag of pretzels and a can of silly string. Where'd you get that silly string? I could get food if the door wasn't locked. Well, if the door wasn't unlocked, we wouldn't be in here right now, Angela. So, you know, in Lamo Town. Thanks for nothing. Um, next, order of business. Guys, what do you got for Big Pop M? Big, Big Pop M is, uh, is me. M for Michael, Michael Big. Just forget it. What did we get? Anything? Um, okay, I got a couple ideas. I was thinking a game that proves one's stealth mental endurance and inner strength to survive you know like the will to live on one more hour unless you guys want to do it for 30 minutes you know i'm cool with that whatever i'm i'm talking about a game called laser tag dwight okay which isn't really a game but a way of life yeah but but dwight how are we supposed to play laser tag without any laser guns or vests? Well, I got mine, so, you know, but uh, uh, you, you guys don't have any, do you? Uh, we, could, we could rent some. Okay, Dwight, uh, how about an idea that doesn't suck, okay? Um, yeah, anything else? Um, we could play Truth or Dare. <laughs> uh, that's a great idea, Kevin. Uh, not really, okay? We're not ten-year-old girls. God, who, what, what are you doing here? Who invited you to this meeting? Y you did? Well, I'm uninviting you. Go, just leave. Now, go, go back to work. Weirdo. <sighs> okay, luckily I have been working on game ideas. And I was thinking capture the flag, huh? Little red team versus blue team. Build the, uh... The office unis unity, a little bit. About that. We we could break into two teams and see who's stronger. Okay. Um, so I obviously will be the captain of red team. And captain of blue team will be me. Me, I volunteer. No, Jim. Uh, what? Sure. Okay. Um, I will pick first. Uh, Pam. Uh, no thanks. I'm not playing. Uh, any sign of life down there, Captain? I don't know. Let me check. Beep. 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 Uh, no sign of life, Captain. Just a wet blanket named Pam. Star Trek. I knew that. Okay, thanks, Dwight. Not really. You know what? I will play, but only on Jim's team. Okay. Uh, Angela, come on, you're on my team. Angelia. Don't call me that. Right. I want to be on Jim's team. Jim. Jim with the, uh, with the ladies over there, huh? Uh, I bet you guys are going to play like a bunch of girls. Oh, ho. Oh, snap. Snap. Oh. Michael, um, I'm a girl. Okay, Dwight, I guess you're on my team. Yes. Yes, you're not going to regret this. Okay, can, can, I be, can I be the team manager? No, no, I'm, I'm team manager. But, well, I'm the, I just figured because I'm the assistant regional manager. Assistant so. to the regional manager. Same thing. No, it's not, it's lower. I'm a level seven warlock. On Dungeons and Dragons. Mostly thanks to my strategic skills. In fact, they call me Mr. S online. S as in stretch. I'm an asset to Team Red. They just don't know it yet. But they will. Oh yes, they will. Alright, so red team will get the north side, blue team on the south side. <coughs> Losers. Um, what's the prize? Excuse me? Well, what do we get if we win? Oh, uh, 
right, Pam. Thanks for reminding me. Um, the prize is... Immunity. Uh, what? Immunity. Yeah, sure. Immunity, Dwight. Um, and for all you non-dorks out there, um, the prize is a surprise. And I don't know what the surprise is yet, but, um, it's... I can guarantee you that it will be off the shizzle dogs, and, um, maybe it'll be like food or something. Uh, well, I think Dwight had some pudding earlier. No. Right? No. Okay. I, I already ate it. Didn't you sit in that? Didn't you eat the silly string? No. Nope. I mean, I mean, steal the silly string? I found it in the refrigerator. Yeah, you gotta keep it cold. That doesn't mean it's up for grabs, okay? Then where did my tuna sandwich go? Sanitary violation. I had to throw it out. My food is my food. I don't like when people touch it or sneeze on it. That's why I double bag all my food. And I also only drink on my thermos because you never know where containers have been. That's how you get HIV. Dirty bottles. Uh, so, did anybody see Seinfeld last night? Missed it. Which one was it? It was the one with the Pez dispenser. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is uh, everyone here always this, uh, Weird. Nah, nah, during Star Wars week, Dwight goes around quoting all the movies all day. Or when Michael's girlfriend stops by. Yikes. I, I was really trying to forget that. Thank you, Pam. No problem. You guys! Michael has a cell phone! Beep! Beep! Yeah, but he's gonna want to hang out with us if we, if we get out. Right, but... So what we have to do is somehow get his phone without him noticing. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we can do, what we can do is... Hey, Joe. Yeah, Kevin? I dare you to eat this peanut that I found in my shoe. Um, Kevin, we're not playing truth or dare. I double dare you. So far, we've established camp. We've used my desk and Angela's to create a protective barrier for us, as well as the sacred flag of power, which, as we all know, means immunity. Uh, we're gonna have to move these cats here. Okay, three reasons. Reason one, we need that space to build a binder fortification. Reason two, they're fragile and breakable, and we don't want that sort of thing representing team red. Okay, we're not breakable. Reason three, Michael said they're ugly, and if Michael doesn't like something, I don't like something. Simple as that. All right. Actually, what I said was that it would be ugly if one of Angela's cats fell off the table, broke a piece off, and that piece flew into an employee's pupil of the eye, and thus blinded them to life. Um, that would be ugly. Meow. I'm Mr. Whiskers. Meow. Hey, hey, guess, guess who I am? Guess who I am? Okay. I like to lie in bed all day and eat lasagna. I'm not gonna catch a mouse because I'm so fat and lazy. Oh, oh, oh. Trogdor the Burdenator. No. No, it's hard to what's, what's wrong with you? It just so happens that I collect cats. Cats won't call you hurtful names, or throw meatloaf at you, or run away to Canada to become a professional ice skater. So, new girl, um, you'll go grab Michael's cell phone, which will hopefully be unattended in Dwight's 
five-year-old for it. Okay. I'll call my friend, and he'll come open the door for us. All right, good deal. Now, Pam, you distract Angela, and I'll take care of Dwight. But what about Michael? He's still got to be away from his phone for new girl, though. He's oh, my dear Pam, I'm one step ahead of you. I got it covered. I have really three passions in life. Um, first being work, my love of work. Um, you know, home is where the heart is, and this is my home. Sometimes it's a frigid igloo of sadness. Um, sometimes it's a hot bungalow of happiness. And, you know, my, my co-workers and employees are, are like my friends and family, and I just hold them very close. Except Kevin. Because he's just weird. Um, my second, my second passion would probably have to be uh, b-ball, because, or bizzle ball, as Jim might say, um, and because it's just it's so relaxing, just you know, shooting hoops and uh, so in your face, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just, I love shooting hoops, and, uh, you know, I bet I could go head-to-head -head with, uh, Magic Johnson. Um, he's the one who had, uh, who had cancer, right? Yeah, I could take him. Uh, oh, and my third would have to be, uh, marshmallows. I love marshmallows. Um, I eat, I make it my duty to eat about a bag a day, um, not so much anymore, because the doctor told me to cut back. So now I'm down to about, you know, a handful a day. But man, they're delicious. So the plan is I am going to run into the base while you two create a distraction. Come on, why can't I take the flag? I made the layout and everything. Too bad. I'm the captain, and I'm saying you're creating a distraction. Wait. Can I still receive immunity for this? Um, yeah, sure. Only if it's, uh, stealthy. Yes! I'm on it! So, uh, you got the distraction down, Angelina Jolino? Don't call me up. Okay, fine. Um, just as long as you don't be a blind and, uh, mess everything up. What? Hey, hey, Angela. A uh, white and blind get kicked out of the M&M &M factory. She threw out all the W's. Oh! Oh! Zing! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> That's it. I'm done. You're in charge. I don't know about that. Uh, wow. Some people have uh, no sense of humor. Anybody ask me to truth or dare, probably pick dare, because uh, there's a lot of things I don't want people to know. Hey Angela, I dare you to kiss Michael on the lips. Kevin, <laughs> that's inappropriate. I'm a hunter. The thing about that is that deer have very good sense of vision. The thing about me is that I am better at hiding and stealthing more than the deer are at vision. Time for Mr. S. Mr. Stell to go to Stell.
Kermit, dang it! We're not playing that game, okay? The last time. Double dare you. No. Triple dog dare you. Are you serious? Because if you're not serious, just walk away right now, man. Okay? I've never gone back on the triple dog dare. Dead serious. I love you, Angela. I know. I love you too, Dad. You're perfect. I want to dip you in gravy. Hey, Angela. Oh, I was just um organizing stuff. Oh, that's cool. So, how's Team Red working out? I don't know. I quit. Michael's a jerk. Oh, well then. I was just coming over to see if you wanted to go shopping. I only shop at Kaufman's. Everywhere else just sells trashy clothing. Yeah, so can you come get me? Oh, you're outside? Yeah, the door's broken. So uh, just come upstairs and open it. down half. I just really need to get out of here. You want to go catch a couple of drinks at Inferno? Yeah, I'd like that. Dare you guys to kiss. Wow, Kevin. That's like the most day. And besides, I only make out with soccer moms. It's kind of my thing. Don't, don't touch my mom. Too late, Kevin. Too late. Here. I'll walk you to your car. Dwight, you're just mortal. Stop. Stop. Mm. Ah, marshmallows. Kevin! Ah, you win this time. Hey, where is everyone? Slide. As soon as I saw Dwight's eyes light up. Shit. Yeah. I guess he'll go grab Dwight's Michael's cell phone. Fuck it. My shoe. We're not playing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> that, just... <laughs> <laughs> that was set that was set up by management. Okay. Tell me yes. yeah. Secret of the <laughs> if he's strong and discovers the same Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, so, pause, because I don't know my lines. Okay, order. I think, uh, I think this just about sums it up. Got that, Spencer's? 